So Facebook released a new command line tool for creating React apps that's supposed to be really easy to use and we're going to take it for a spin. And in the spirit of keeping things simple, we'll be using the system command prompt that comes with Windows. And here we go. Copy the installation command, paste it. Create a new project called my app. I think the last time I did it, this took about two minutes. Okay, that was like four minutes. Okay. Let's go into my app and run npm start. Cool, there it is. And now let's make some very cosmetic superficial changes. Open folder my app welcome to react to get started edit code that edit src app.js and save preload okay hello world cool all right now let's try building this npm run build Nice and minified. Now let's deploy this. This is a service that um, gives you free hosting and 20 deploys, 20 free deploys a month. One gig. I saw um, I saw Christopher Shadow mention this on the Hacker News thread, and I just figured it might be interesting checking out how all this works. So it's installed, and we don't have to make dir and cd because we're already in our project. And we can just go now. Oh, this takes a while. I forgot something. The way that now works is that it runs your start script, and because our start script is running React scripts start script, which runs Webpack's dev server. Um, deploying anything this way means that the JavaScript's not going to be minified, and neither is the HTML or CSS. So what we want to actually do is we want to we want to build this, and then we want to serve the built uh, built content. So we'll have to install locally um, an HTTP server. Um, and by the way, I know that now has a NS that uh, now serve that's supposed to be just for serving static stuff, but on Windows it doesn't work. Um, I think they need to change, uh, I think whether, whatever they're using to spawn new processes, they need to use a library that's cross-platform compatible. Um, anyway, so we need to install um, S, we need to install HTTP server. HS build. So this will serve up files in our build folder. We want to change our package JSON's task. So right now npm start starts our dev server, but let's rename this to dev and change our start script to npm run build. And after you build, we want to run HTTP server on the build folder. Let's deploy that again. Okay. Yeah, you can see it's all minified. All right, that's it. You have a website running that you can um, send the address to your friends. Good job, Facebook.